Few industries have been harder hit by the pandemic than Hollywood. Cinemas have been forced to close their doors all around the world. In the United States, revenues have plummeted as people give the silver screen a miss. New figures just show how, just how bad the downturn has been, as the BBC's Tim Orman explains. Iconic, familiar, unchanging. The Hollywood sign may be constant, but the fortunes of the industry it represents are anything but. The cinemas and picture houses of Los Angeles, along with many other cities across the nation, remain closed. And that has had a dramatic impact on the bottom line. According to research firm Comscore, in 2019, the North American box office generated $11.4 billion in revenue. But jump forward 12 months, and that figure stood at only $2.2 billion, a drop of 80%. That's the worst performance since 1981, when the industry generated less than a billion dollars in revenue. Film after film have had their release dates postponed, and then postponed again. There will be nothing left to say. The latest James Bond movie, No Time to Die, is due to open in April, but the speculation it might move to the autumn. It'll open the right doors. Christopher Nolan's Tenet did appear in cinemas worldwide, but its performance was seen as disappointing. The recent Wonder Woman sequel was released in movie theatres, but also streamed online at the same time. And those streaming services have been the real winners in all this. Companies like Netflix, Amazon Prime and Disney Plus have seen revenues booming. The question is, will we all flock back to the cinemas when the pandemic ends? Or is this the new normal. Tim Allman, BBC News.